right, I just got done working an overnight shift. And since my new job is over here in an area where there's some places to fish, and since it's, well, it's not really early in the morning, but it's pretty early compared to, I mean, for me, because I'm not a morning person. I don't wake up early. So I never do any early morning fishing. So since I'm getting off work right now, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to go do some morning fishing. See if, uh, I even brought a topwater frog. I'm going to see if I can get any kind of topwater strikes and stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. See if I can get anything this morning. It's not too cold. It's about 68 right now. It's kind of cloudy, a little overcast. I think the conditions are pretty perfect to catch something right now. So, uh, I'm going to just get over there as quick as I can and we'll start the video there. I just had one blow up on me, on the line, not on the bait. I just... So I've already been out here for like 30, 45 minutes and the sun's starting to come out and all the overcast is clearing away. So I feel like maybe I wasted the opportunity here. Oh, look at all those sunfish. Oh, and there's some... I don't know why I turned off my camera right then. I was in the middle of a sentence. There's a bunch of sunfish right here and at least one decent bass. I just saw a big one swirl near it. Didn't hit the surface though, it just kind of was there. So they're in here. There's big ones in here. Still. I mean, I've always known there's big ones in here, but it's always nice to see them because of how pressured this place is and it doesn't get stocked. So it's nice that there's still big ones in here. It gets stocked with catfish, not bass. Texas Parks and Wildlife and the San Antonio Inland Fisheries for whatever reason just don't really stock bass anywhere. They've only started doing that this year. But they still mostly stock catfish and trout, which makes no sense if you're familiar with trout and Texas. They just, they do not survive here. So you put trout in the waters here in the last maybe two weeks if you're lucky. So it's completely pointless to stock something like that. But that's they stock that instead of bass. There's a pair of decent sized bass just kind of circling this whole area here. I also gotta watch where I step out here because I've already almost, in the last 30 feet, I've almost stepped on two snakes. Oh, oh my God. That was a big swirl. That was three pounds minimum. Gotta tell you, man, there's nothing more infuriating than getting your lure snagged in a tree and then the line breaking and the lure falling off like it wasn't even snagged. Like if it stuck there and stayed there, I wouldn't be so mad. It's like, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna be able to get it back anyway. But it just falls off like it wasn't even stuck. That's, that's the most frustrating thing for me. Water level seems like it's further down over here than it was on that side. definitely down over here. It's usually back up in those trees over there. Right now it's just the channel. So why did it look normal on that side but over here it's so low?
crazy. There we go. It's a decent one too. It's a good one. That is a hell of a bass. Okay. On the swim bait. I don't know if I can flip them up or not. Okay. Whew. There we go. Good hook set for a top lip. Didn't take too much to come out. That's probably two pounds right there. That's a good fish. Let me dig out my scale here. I'm having a hard time seeing my scale with my polarized glasses on. Uh... Oh yeah. Almost two pounds exactly, 195. So a little under two pounds. Looked a lot bigger down there. When you're up this high, they always look pretty big. But since he is a decent size, I'm gonna climb down somewhere and let him go. Probably over here, closer to where he was. All I had to do is switch up the swim bait because the one I was throwing wasn't swimming right. Like it had a warped tail. Probably from being left in the car all the time. But here we go, it's a two pound bass, probably 16 inches. Come on, turn on. And he's off. There we go, now I got a video. Fished the whole lake, like I always do. Didn't catch anything out of the lake, like I always do. Get to the creek, to the mouth of the creek here, and I catch something, and it's usually pretty decent. So. There we go. So, yeah, little tiny bass and stuff, I could just drop from that high without risk of hurting them, because they're, they have no weight to them, so they don't hit the water as hard. You know, the big ones though, they'll, they'll smack it and get injured. So it's a little bit different. There we go, little one. Come on. wasn't actually expecting because I'd been casting over here from over there but now that I'm right on top of it I get a bite you would have thought I would have gotten a bite here when I was further away and the fish didn't know I was standing here There we go. Better than the last one, but not very big. I knew I would pull one out right there. There we go. tore that up too I've also noticed that when it comes to my lures and stuff you know I normally buy 50 packs like packs of 50 and uh, yeah when I have a brand new pack I'll go out and fish and I'll lose you know one or two per trip no big deal because I got 50 you know but when I start getting low, when I start to the, when I'm starting to run out and I need to order more, they just all disappear. They just I'll lose, you know, seven or eight. Like these, they're just wearing out. 
a little too fast and snapping off more often than usual. Caught three fish, went all the way around the lake uh, a time and a half. So it started to get really hot. It's, it's only 77, but it feels like it's way hotter just because the sun is out, all the clouds went away. And yeah, it just. It's making me realize it's not worth it for me to get up so early in the mornings to go fishing because I can be a lot more successful in the evening when the sun's going down and I don't have to wake up early or leave work. I can go home and go to sleep instead. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I did catch a decent bass. I mean, I got here about nine o'clock, no, about 8.30 probably about 8 30 it is noon 12 10 now 10 afternoon uh, so yeah that was a good amount of time out there about four hours roughly four hours and yeah it just four hours three fish it's not really worth it for me to to do that maybe i just didn't get up early enough but i don't know Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.